If you're facing an issue with your scepter monitor and you did not know how to fix the issue, do not worry, I will explore why your monitor turn off and how to fix it. Causes of why your monitor turning off. A couple of issues can cause your monitor to turn OFF such a yes. While some of them are associated with the monitor, a few relate to the computer system. The following are these causes. At number one in our list issue is the overheating. When a monitor is overheating, it automatically goes off to avoid circuitry damage it may be off the heat, dust accumulation, or vent blockage. If the monitor is old, too much dust accumulation jams the monitor vents due to which the heat cannot escape. This can result in turn OFF your monitor rapidly. Another cause in the case of an old monitor is the set of aging capacitors within the monitor circuits that are unable to retain the charge for sufficient time for supplying it to the other parts. Possible solution to fix the issue is You should disconnect the monitor and allow it to cool completely prior to connecting it again for use. Also clean the vents using a vacuum cleaner gently. Alternatively, you can use anti-static canned air to blow away the dust inside the casing of the monitor. If the room in which the computer is present is hot, cool it down by an AC or a fan. Allow the room to cool prior to using the monitor again. Possible cause number two may be a loose cables. At times, carelessness or a silly thing can be the cause of this monitor issue. In the case of the monitor turning OFF, this can be a loose display cable. So, just examine the cable that connects the monitor to the system and see whether it is loose or not. The same problem can be with the power cable or cord that connects the monitor with the socket. If it is not well connected to the monitor's back, it results in power loss due to which the monitor tends to turn OFF. Solution for it the first thing to do is to unplug both the monitor display cable and the monitor power cord and replug them securely and tightly. For this, just see both the ends of each cable at the rear of the monitor. You should also check the DVI and HDMI setup. If you are using these cables, you need to take care of some additional considerations. Both of them are digital signals. So, if any of them is weak or has been split using a splitter, the monitor is likely to go blank due to loss of signal strength. In case of a damaged cable, unplug it and physically check it for bent pins, tears, twist marks, and pinch marks. In order to this cause, you should to replace the cable. If there are bent pins, you can first try straightening them with a screwdriver after disconnecting the cable. Possible cause number three is defective or malfunctioning graphic card. Another common cause of the monitor turning OFF frequently is faulty GPU. You can easily check if this is the cause in your case. To do so, just remove the graphics or video card and watch the system for the monitor's issue. If resolved, it means that the GPU was at the fault. In some cases, after monitor turning on you might face generic PNP monitor error that's also caused by GPU. This cause is common in case of an external GPU card, which could be dead or faulty. Here, for verification, consider using the graphics port integrated into your motherboard. These days, most CPUs or motherboards come with built-in graphics. If it worked, it means that the external GPU card is faulty or its driver is obsolete or not updated. Solution for it You should update all the graphic card drivers. You can download and install the latest drivers from the official website of its manufacturer. In the search box of the Start menu or on the taskbar, enter Device Manager. Select Device Manager. The Device Manager window is displayed. Locate and expand the display adapter node. Look for an entry that says Intel, Graphics, AMD, ATI, VGA, or NVIDIA. These are the popular brand or manufacturer names. Double-click the entry of your graphics or video card. The Properties dialog box is displayed. Select the Driver tab. Click Update Driver. If the issue is still there, 
consider cleaning the card and put it again on the motherboard. If doing also does not resolve the issue, the only solution then is to replace the graphic card with a new one. Which method helps you to fix your issue, let me know in the comments. If you still need any help you should contact Scepter Customer Support for further help. Don't forget to like subscribe and share the video.